You knew it was coming. I have to use Terry with Bon just to, you know, give an attempt to see how good it would be uh, with the both the taking off ultimate gauge and the stack of uh, stats, really. Could be good. Um, <laughs> I have my concerns over facing other Bonds and, you know, not having the turn one taunt. Uh, but, you know, if you face another Bon, and they have Twigo in the front, and they get the ultimate first turn. They're gonna lose anyways. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, but they, they, they should be good. They should be decent. We got we got enemy Keo here. Okay. Does he not have Bond's relic, or is he not showing? Uh, it's laggy. It's a real player. Nice. He he doesn't. Wow. Okay. Um. All right. So turn one. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully we'll get uh, multiple of Terry's Relic, of course. I do want to spam that bad boy. Especially if we get, like, turn two, we can actually... Nice. Even protect ourselves, really, because... Um, you know, it would make so he, he would be less... Um, less uh, convinced to attack. Let's do this, this, and this. Two stacks. If he attacks with, uh, like, Kyo or something, it could hurt. The counters could hurt. Attacking with Bon. I... Hmm. Okay. Increasing my stats one more time. Putting up uh, damage reduction for Arthur. Let's combine cards with uh, Bon. The Kyo ignites are not very nice looking on me. Uh, it's uh, it's going to do an extra 80% more damage. Not 6-6, six, six, unfortunately. Three stacks of the counter. That's pretty decent. He took... Did he take the least damage? No, I think it's just because his counters healed him quite a lot. Okay. Well, I'll be honest. Uh, first impressions. I would have been been better off having Kyo because um, the turns I wasted putting up his counter I could have used actually putting up you know ignites on my enemy and you know attacking with Bon, but lowering the stats might have been helpful. So okay, we got a Margaret that out CCs me. That's good. Good, because, you know, that means it's a real player. We could go for Arthur's ultimate. Is that worth it, though? Is the real question. I think it's more worth combining bond cards and everything. He's got an extra card for Margaret. Okay. Here's what I'm going to hope to do. We're going to hope that... We're gonna hope that we're gonna get another card for Terry next turn because I do actually want to stack his passive and everything like that. But okay, good. I at the same time want to raise his stats right now just in case it goes for like a Margaret attack and it hits really hard. So I do want to raise his stats by twenty percent. Level three. All the good stuff. Um, okay. I can't really push Bond's ultimate next turn. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to go for this, this, and this. Just for maximum tanking capabilities, we got Terry with two stacks. Increased HP. And damage reduction for Arthur. 
So he can't just kill me next turn. And then we're gonna go with attacking with Ban. He's putting up a counter with uh, Chandler. I could just take off his ultimate. Yeah. Hmm. I'm attacking just because I actually think my life steal is gonna be so huge that it won't even matter. Oh, so is his life steal. Damn. Damn, that life steal went crazy. But his guffer is almost dead, so that's what actually matters. That's what I was really going for. No stance cards for Terry, because why would I get any? Okay, he's going for full-on attacks, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Again. I'm gonna go for this, actually. Just because. I just wanna kill Gaffer, so he has no rank up. I know that will. No, the cards combined. Of course they did. Of course they did. Great stuff. Oh, he has no Margaret blue card. Man, if I had Keo. He would be infested with Ignites right now, because he, he has pulled no blue cards. If he had put a blue card, he, was, he would actually use it right now. He would be infested with Ignites, he would have done no damage. He would have done negative damage. That's crazy. Well. I have to ult. He disabled me, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't have any buffs anyways. Disable it do does not actually do anything to my bond ultimate. Literally does nothing. The end. Haven't seen Ragnarok the end in so long. Which, I mean, should be, like, fair enough. Like, she's not that great anymore. Simply because, like, if you face Bon, she's pointless. Like... You, you really can't do much with her, because most of the time, Bond teams are going to put up a, uh, uh, um, an Arthur stance, and you're just not going to be able to remove Bond's, Bond's buffs anyways. But that Ragnarok the end is really good. It's just green units are just not in a good place right now, except Festival Galfer, but he's, he's like, green DPS units are not in a good, good spot right now, I should say. Like... Green support units are... <laughs> Green support units are not, you know, in that big of a of a disadvantage, because, you know, the, the, the Green, Green Fast Galfer, he doesn't need you to do damage, but you ain't doing damage on Bond with a Green DPS, you just, you just not. It's just not gonna happen. Okay. Hmm. I don't think Bond's gonna kill Margaret to level one. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm just saying that because of the the Liz lowering my damage by twenty percent. My AoE damage, I should say. Like, before she came in, it was only 10, because it was only on one goddess in the field. But that is true. 
That was a 6-6 six, six, Margaret. Six six. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get two stacks with my my boy here. Um, I kind of don't want to ult. I want to see his damage. I mean, I'm gonna ult just because it will end the match. But I want to see his damage here. Two stacks. Eh, it, eh. it was. With increased defense. Ooh, a king team, okay. And he's out to see me, that's a good sign. It's a good sign. So, just from the nature of the king team, I think I'm gonna go put up the, the Terry counter already. It's gonna cleanse as well, which is nice. Um, and hope that I'll get another one next turn. We'll see. Uh, I would love to combine those bond level level ones, but it's gonna de rank, so I'm not gonna do that. And I'm gonna waste that Arthur card. Nah, I didn't get another one. That's very unfortunate. It would have been actually super useful. He's sealing me again. Phenomenal. He has no taunt, so I can take off his ultimate gauges as, like, as soon as I want to, really. Yeah, he life steals more than I do damage, so that's great. <laughs> ah, it's very unfortunate I, I did not get... I'm just gonna attack with Bond, honestly. I see no reason not to. I'm not gonna do the most damage, but still good amount. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's so sad how, like, other teams can barely, like, scratch Bond. It, like, this guy has been doing so much. He's sealing me every turn. Every turn. And just from level 1s, I almost killed his Hendrickson. He's been sealing me every turn. His golfer has lowered stats. Uh, is there? There's no point in pushing ult because I think I'm still gonna lose ultimate gauge next turn. Um, I'm gonna go for this though. Yeah, I'm gonna kill everyone. That lowering on stats was really good on golfer, but if I'm being really honest, I need to make it a comparison. Like Keo is much better for the Bond team than Terry is. Like, I I see no reason to use Terry over Kyo. If you have Kyo, which, you know, considering Terry is a newer unit. I guess if you missed Kyo last year, it's going to be harder for you to get him now than it would be to get Terry, because Terry has higher rates. Uh, but if you got Kyo last year, no reason whatsoever to use Terry over him. Kyo would have made so like in like last match. Like I, I destroyed him regardless, but my enemy would have been doing last damage every turn. Plus the fact that I would be doing extra damage on him, on all of his units, not just the one unit that, that got their stats lowered. Makes a big difference. Let's hope we do get the Extra counter card next turn. We do. We can get two stacks. Nice. It is pretty realistic to get three stacks at once. Um, but you need a very good amount of RNG. It's very unrealistic to get like four stacks. It's just not going to happen. Like, if you get four stacks, it's to the point where you're only get getting his counter cards and you're probably, you're probably like, man, I could, I could be getting some other cards. I guess it depends on if the team is focused on Terry. I guess it's not a bad thing. But if the team is focused on Bond and I'm not, ooh, never mind. I'm getting four stacks. <laughs> Literally, as I say it, that it's unrealistic. Uh, you know what's unrealistic? 
for me to get a bond level 3 by combining cards next turn. That's very unrealistic. Wink, wink, game. Very unrealistic game. Wink, wink. That's great. <laughs> As I say, oh, it's, it's very unrealistic, man. Very unrealistic. Do you have four stacks? It's impossible. I actually want to see. This is a bot, so he's gonna attack. I want to see how much these uh, these counters are gonna do. Four stacks. Oh, that was very disappointing. I was expecting much more, because like he has like an absurd amount of crit chance right here. Okay, that's more like it. Because he didn't crit Askenor, even though Askenor has very low crit resistance. Like, he has right now 98, so he, it was like 138 crit chance. Well, this is gonna kill, because his ultimate is absurdly good. Plus, I have two stacks. Oh! Well, B Bonnie is just built different. So, th there's that. You know? I think we're done. It, it's decent. It's just... Heal is just so good. And now that he got his Holy Relic, he's even better as well. He was already, like... One of the best Bond teams. And... And then he got the Holy Relic. So it's like, oh, now he is the best Bond team. Maybe. I don't know. Twigo... If you go second and you get the ult, turn one is still better, obviously. But Kyo is definitely up there. Definitely.